I think it's very important to note that the book of Proverbs, a book noted for its wisdom, ends with the words of a mother giving advice to her son regarding the selection of a wife. Some scholars think this may be Bathsheba speaking to her son Solomon, but we aren't exactly clear. All we know for sure is that this mom takes the time to relay to her son the importance of choosing the right woman. Certainly, choosing a spouse is one of the most important decisions we can make in this life. As we see divorce rates both outside and inside the church skyrocket, perhaps one reason is because people are too quick to say, I do. Marriage is very serious in the eyes of God, and choosing a spouse is a decision to be made with much prayer and wisdom. This mom knew that, and she wanted her son to choose the right woman, so she gives him quite a checklist. The beginning of this chapter starts with a warning of the dangers of sexual immorality and alcohol, a warning both children and parents should still heed today as we can see how sex outside the confines of marriage and a life lived under the influence of alcohol only leads to destruction and heartache. She seeks to spare her son from the counterfeit promises of those temptations, and her desire is to see her son reign without regret and wasted energy. Beginning in verse 10, we see the shift in subject to qualities to look for a wife. Not easily found, this woman's worth is beyond rubies. She is virtuous, she is faithful and trustworthy, she is resourceful and hardworking, she's charitable and kind, she is prepared and providing, she's wise and presentable, and she leaves a legacy. But most importantly, she fears God. This chapter describes a woman who finds value in where God has placed her and serves to the best of her ability, and she does so because she fears the Lord. Charm is deceitful, beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Proverbs, the book of wisdom, it ends with advice to choose a woman who fears the Lord, for fearing the Lord is truly the beginning of all wisdom. As a mom of two boys, I can tell you I think this list is awesome, and I hope both my sons find women like this to marry. But as a wife, this list is convicting and incredibly challenging. I can only hope to live up to the legacy of a Proverbs 31 woman.